you have your Bibles with you. And if you don't, there's one in a few in front of you. Amen. Amen. Uh, so if you don't have a Bible, just take one of them home. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of James, the first chapter, the 22nd through the 25th verse. When you have it, say amen. If you don't have it, say hold on. Somebody say it again. Hold on. Hold on. Bible studies on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See you there. Amen. Amen. Let us stand if we have it in reverence to God's word. Amen. And it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. Yeah. For he looks at himself and goes away and once forgets what he was like. Yeah. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and perseverance, being no hearer who forgets but a doer who acts, he'll be blessed in his doing. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and application of his holy word. Amen. 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 Um, if you need a topic for today, if you need me to tag this text, if you need me to title the sermon, uh, I'll just repeat after me. The man, the man in the mirror. In the mirror. The man. The man in the mirror. The, the writer of this text is James. He was the brother of Jesus. He was a man who saw a true reflection of love and action. A true reflection of what we should strive to be, willing and humble servants of the Lord, uh, servants of the Master, instead of puffed up, prideful, two-faced, conceited, so-called Christians. You all know what I'm talking about, don't you? The ones who look at themselves with favor and look down on you. The ones who look at themselves and say, I'm all that and that you are beneath me. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I'm sure all of us in the room have had a running with some self-righteous people, but ultimately at the end of the day, we need to see a reflection of Jesus when we look in the mirror. We should see the master, we should see love, joy, and we should see peace. We should see some understanding, some selflessness, some care and concern for those who have less than we do. We should see ourselves as willing and zealous servants of the kingdom. We shouldn't be a part-time believer just believing on Wednesdays and Sundays or just believing uh, uh, yeah, on Wednesdays and Sundays. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't be a Wednesday and Sunday choir member or a Wednesday and Sunday deacon. Amen, somebody. Or Wednesday and Sunday pastor. Amen, somebody. We need to be like uh, the postal workers. You know, they say uh, through rain, sleet, snow. Bad weather, the work must be done. We need to be just like that in all things. We need to be soldiers of the cross and not just saints in the sanctuary. Amen. Many of you may not remember this famous line, but it popped into my head when I looked at these scriptures. Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Now, I, know, I don't know if you can recall that, but that came from the movie Snow White. There was an evil queen who thought highly of herself. Day in, day out, she'd look in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The queen was comparing herself to all of society. She was conceited and regarded herself as the best above all others, the greatest one of them all. One day, her bubble was busted. She looked in the mirror and was confronted with the fact that she isn't all that. And I hate to be a bubble buster on today. You ain't all that either. Amen. All right. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yes, and me too. Amen. Right. Uh, but guess what? We're worthy to be called his children because of the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. And I'm talking about Jesus, if you don't know. If you haven't seen Snow White, uh, you might be familiar with these words. Uh, there was a famous singer. Uh, he penned these words. He said, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Oh, oh, I'm asking him to change his ways. Not a not. And no message could have ever been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. Na -na -na, na -na -na, na -na. Oh, okay. Michael Jackson was doing a self evaluation and said, I'm starting with myself. How many of you know we need to start with ourselves? Often we blame people for our current situations. Uh, when we need to take evaluation of our own actions, guess what? Nobody made you do that crime and go to jail. You did it, amen. 
Uh, nobody made you sign for a car when your friends didn't pay for it. Amen. Uh, nobody made you do that. Can I get one witness in the building? Uh, Both hands and legs. Amen. Uh, uh, you did it on your own. Is there one more witness in the building? Yeah. Amen. There's an old song that says, sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Uh, Y'all know that song, amen. And if you're over 40, you know what that is, amen. Y'all probably sang that in Sunday school, amen. Uh, uh, uh. Michael here was talking to himself saying, I need to change my ways. I need to change what I'm doing. I need to move from where I am into where the Lord would have me to be. I want you to point to yourself. Say self. 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 <laughs> I need to change. I need to change. My way. Michael said the message to himself was clear. It was clear because when you do a self-evaluation, it's all out there. There is nothing, guess what, you can hide from yourself. When we, you, and me are honest, we'll realize what our problems are. We'll realize what our vices might be. When we look at ourselves, we can see the problems that we've created. We can see the situations that we started. Amen. We can see a clear message that we need to change our ways. I'm thanking God on today for a clear message. Somebody should thank God. Yes. Michael said, if I want the world to be a better place, I have to look at myself and make some adjustments. He was saying you might be messing up your family with your negativity. So if you want a better family, guess what? Cut it out. Stop raining on everyone's parade. Stop throwing pity parties and inviting everyone that you know. Amen. Amen. He is saying I need to make adjustments to my attitude. Amen, somebody. I need to make adjustments to my attitude. We need to make adjustments to our attitude. Uh, I want people to feel the love of the Lord when they see me. Amen. I, we need to say uh, the church will be a better place when I stop tripping because somebody said something I didn't like. Amen. amen. Even though it applied to my life when I should have said amen or ouch. Amen. amen. Uh, Michael saying, Pastor Andre, he was saying, Deacon Dennis, Brother Washington, and everyone in the room, we need to change what we're doing. We need to be the change that we want to see. Amen. We should be a sermon in shoes. We should all be different from the people in the world. I didn't say better because uh, we're all equal in God's sight. Amen. Amen. You might have a little money. I might have a lot. But guess what? In the eyes of God, we're the same. Amen. The only difference is some of us have looked in the mirror, realized that we need a savior. And then there are those of us who fail to accept Christ. And believe that we are all that and we can make it on our own. Today I'm talking about the man in the mirror. I'm going to talk about what we see when we look in the mirror. When we look in the mirror, we see society in the mirror, which has a distorted view of its own abilities, its own talents. And not recognizing that the talents and the abilities are what the Lord has done. Amen. Amen. And what the Lord has allowed us to do. He gave you the voice. Amen. You didn't get the voice on your own. Well, so many people nowadays don't give God honor, glory, and praise uh, for their accomplishments in their lives. I have some family members who, are, who will tout their accomplishments all on the wall and fail to acknowledge and realize the one who gives them breath minute by minute, who gives them life day by day. Amen. We see everything uh, in society that everyone else is doing, but we don't see, uh, or better yet, we don't want to see what we're doing. Amen. Yeah. When you look in the mirror, this is what you should see. We should see uh, what the Bible says. In Psalms, it says that I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows right well. We need to realize our worth and understand you're worth more than shacking up. Amen. You deserve a ring. You're worth more than allowing people to use you. You can put your foot down. Amen. And let the world know that I've been redeemed. Amen. I look in the mirror and I know my worth. No one can validate me because I know who I am. I know what I am. And guess what? I know whose I am. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. After you look in the mirror, this is what you should do. Uh, Paul, you know Paul, right? The one who persecuted Christians, right? He was Saul, then he became Paul. Amen. Paul, I call him the gospel globetrotter. He was looking in the mirror. He went from persecutor to promoter. He told the church in Philip, Philip, excuse me, uh, in the book of Philippians, he said, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in what? Christ Jesus. Paul was saying, keep it moving. Don't stop where you're at because you're not 
where you need to be. Amen. Paul was saying, guess what? You're not defeated. You can walk into the greatness of God when you just obedient. Amen. When you keep on pushing, when you keep on pressing, when you keep on striving. Amen. When you keep on looking at the man that you can't see instead of the one that you can see, you will be all right. You might be eating ramen noodles right now, but if you follow God, steak might be in your future. I'm going to tell you what we can become when we look in the mirror. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, uh, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have what? Become new. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. James 1, 22 through 25, uh, 22 says, but be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. James was saying, stop faking it. Stop uh, faking and flaking in the church. Amen. Keep doing what's right, even when right seems wrong. Stop walking around here like you love everybody if you don't. Amen. If you got a problem with somebody, tell them. Amen. Don't be just acting like, oh, I love your brother so and so and sister so and so. But if you had a knife in your hand, you stab them right in the back. Amen. So you need to be honest with yourself if you can't be honest with anybody else. Yeah. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. James was telling us, don't come to church one way and then leave the building and go back to the mess that you are in. Amen. Don't come to church out of tradition, but come here to reflect on where the Lord has brought you from. Come here to reflect on where the Lord has kept you from. Amen. Come here to just corporately worship him and lift up his magnificent name. Amen. That's what you ought to be coming in the building to do. 25 says, but the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres being no hero, who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. Brother James was saying when you do right, when you live right, and when you act right, guess what? Things will go right. Amen. You'll be blessed in your home. You'll be blessed on your job. And when things go wrong, guess what? You will still have the strength to move on. Amen. Amen. When Jesus came down from heaven to fix the mirror that was broken back in the garden, the people he encountered didn't want to see themselves. They wanted to judge everyone who didn't look like them. They wanted to judge everyone who didn't uh, dress like them. Amen. They wanted to judge everyone who didn't talk like them. Amen. Guess what? You don't set a standard for God. You ain't all of that. Uh. Somebody, yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> you're going to walk out the door. Pastor said, I ain't nothing. But guess what? I'm something. I'm not saying you're nothing. Amen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we're all equal in the eyesight of God. You're no better than me. I'm no better than you. Pastor's no greater than a deacon. I just got a different job in the uh, building. Yeah. Right, right. I sweep, push the vacuum, do everything, just like everybody else. That's right, Pastor. I'm not better than you. Jesus showed them a mirror, a mirror of the Father. When they looked at him, they saw a clean mirror that can change their lives. If only they decided to look at it. This mirror was whole and then it was broken when Jesus was beat all night long, mocked and ridiculed. And then when he was placed on a cross, the people still couldn't see themselves because they thought the mirror was broken on the cross. When Jesus was taken down off the cross, he was placed in a very dark tomb. And you know, in the dark, you can't see your reflection. But the mirror wouldn't stay hidden in the grave. Amen. The reflection was still there. And after the third day, the mirror was complete, intact, and could never be broken again. It was framed with love. Amen. It was framed with joy. Amen. It was framed with peace. Amen. You can always look in this clean mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Come on, sing it with me. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. As I close, I want you to know it's time to look at yourself. It's time to get your mind right. It's time to get your relationships right. And know that you're a reflection of the master and not a reflection of the world. Amen. You're a reflection of the redeemer, not a reflection of your mother. You're a reflection of Jesus, the one who can do anything but what? Fail.